R console. Yeah. So um, you know, if you look at the R console, you can um, use it like a for basic calculations. You can use it. You know, so you can just start with anything. You can type two plus three; it will give you five. Yeah. So you can do any kind of calculation, multiplication. So I've multiplied seventy-eight by four. So you can do division. You can do. It looks more like a Python console. Yes, Shushan. So if you're comfortable with Python, it will a lot of it will be familiar. Yeah, but Python, I would say. Uh, but again, there are differences. You know, uh, there are places where R has scores over Python in the kind of functions and data analytics which it can do. Python we use more for is more inclined for text mining kind of uh, analytics where R has more um, you know statistical modeling R has more functions on that. Yeah. So console wise, if you're comfortable with the Python console, you'll find this familiar. Okay. So you can do anything. You know, to the power this is square. So you can do ten square. Yeah. So these are the um, so, so you know after we wind up today's session, you spend some time on the R console, write your own. Just try to do simple calculations, so you'll get familiar with the console. You know, once uh, you have done simple calculations, you can assign values. So those of you who are little familiar with programming, so I can say a two b five, and I can say c is a plus b. That will give me. So what it has done is it has assigned two to the a, b to the variable b. It has calculated the sum of a plus b and put it in c. And now when I write c, it is printing c out for me, right? So this is a simple thing which we can do, right? So now let us say I want to have a list of numbers. So I can say my list, or I can put it as any value. X. Okay. C is a command which tells me that okay, which tells R that I am now going to enter a number of values. Okay. So let's say I put a number of values. Simple values. So this is my X. So now I can do a lot of things, right? I can just let's say I can just write plot X. If you look at it, it's just plotted all these values. It has plotted two, five, seven, four like this. Yeah, simple. Okay. Then it can do. Um, let's say I want to. I'm not happy with these circles, you know. So I want to see how you can put a line. I want a line connecting all these points. So let me see if the plot function can do that. So since I I am not sure how to do it, I do question mark plot. So if I so in question mark plot you can give your x coordinate you can give your y coordinate and here there is something called type which tells me you know whether it should be a point or a line or both etc. So let's try that you know let's say plot x type equal to l and see what it has done is. Uh, it just created a line joining all these points. So let's say I did um, B. B means both line and a point. So it's not only joins, but it also shows the points as circles. And then you can do a lot of things. You know, you can do uh, if you look at the help there is a title for x axis so if you want to put a title for y axis um, what is the value of x and y here nothing i just created an array of these numbers so y it is just y over here just means the index of each value of x so if you see that created y as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so if i wanted to create a y let's say i want to create a y which is um, you know, let's say I, it's just a double of this. Let's say you can start with. Um, it didn't get y value, Shushan. It just plotted the x. 
So the y axis is basically you know it doesn't it has not so you can plot one variable against another variable which we call a scatter plot or you can just plot one variable right so I have 10 numbers 1 to 10 I can just plot that are you getting this so let's say y is 1 2 3 okay now if I have to give 1 to 10 there is a way to do it 1 is to 10 so y is 1 to 10 okay so get about x and y. So x over here, I just have an array of numbers. Yeah. So if I if I want to just plot y, what will it do? It will plot a line. Make sense? So I am just plotting the set of 10 numbers. So I have put a set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if you look at my command y arrow c1 is to 10, it gives this number 1 through 10. These 10 numbers is assigns it to y. Okay. And once I plot this, it just plots these 10 numbers. So it's only plotting y. Similarly, if I plot x, now x is not a straight, uh, you know, 1 through 10. It is what how I have defined it, 2, 5, 7, 4. So it has some ups and downs. So if I plot x, this is how it looks. It is just a group of numbers, a set of numbers. So what I showed you here is just how you can assign a variable one number or you can vary assign index is the a number it is like you know the first value of x is 2 has index 1 the second value of index x is 5 it has index 2 it is the row number or the you know where the position at which it comes make sense yeah so now if i wanted to plot x with y now look at this Okay, now that doesn't have the same units because I have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if I had given the same number of variables, okay, now what it is doing is now it is plotting y against x. I don't want. So that time I was just plotting the value of x or just the value of y. Now I am saying, okay, for each value x2, y is 1. For x5, y is 2. Yeah. This is a very weird plot, but it just shows how x and y are related. So we just did one function here, plot. We just saw how in the R console you can, you know, put in different commands and um, put in, do certain calculations, how you can assign values to a variable and how you can assign a vector or a set of numbers to a variable and plot it.